Happy Monday motivation to everyone. Hopefully everyone had a great week and welcome to July. So lots happening. All right, this week for clients update, I am in Sydney doing Hell Week. For those who don't know what Hell Week is, it is pretty much seven days straight training at uh, martial arts and pretty much 10 to 12 hours a day. So looking forward to um, doing that day one today uh, so I'm recording this before Monday you would get this email so day one was today and i um, got to admit it was awesome though I am on email um, or if you do need anything please contact me via email or phone I'm more than happy to get to you um, also clients 26th of July please book that date we are going to get together we do have a great guest speaker for half a day um, and they're going to take us through some amazing stuff on not just leadership but self leadership so I'm really looking forward to um, um, having our guest speaker I will get information out on that the next couple of days so all good so what are we going to talk about today um, this one's a really easy one today we're going to talk about break-even points um, and, and why are we doing this because it's the first week of July and you know it's time to get this financial year all sorted and um, you know it's time to review our budgets it's time to review our finances it's time to review our KPIs and we've really got to make sure that we want to set up this year absolutely brilliant financially you're in business for a reason of course that's to make money so let's actually have a better system this year on managing that money and the first point is making sure we review our break-even points now if you've only done this the last couple of months you may not need to worry about this because you can use the last couple of months for this financial year but if it's been almost 12 months since you've looked at your break-even points it's definitely time to actually have a look at where they're at. So one of the things we want to do is definitely go to our break-even spreadsheets, maybe save it as a new name, and let's go work through what we actually need to work through. So quite simply, what we want to do, um, and we always start down here in financial obligations, how many loans, if you've got a loan, how much of that do you want to pay back this year? Let's say you want to pay back 15000 Let's say you've got an overdraft and you want to actually pay off... Um, $4,000 of your overdraft, any leases, car leases that you've got to pay, any capital, any items that just aren't in a normal expenses or a profit and loss, um, it, that's what financial obligations are, stuff that you're actually paying back that you may need to pay back. Now, what we also want to do is look at our marketing, and the reason we keep marketing separate is because marketing is really an asset, it's not a liability or an expense. We want to actually keep marketing separate so we can run our KPIs reports off the marketing. So, you know, do you want to do an SEO campaign this year? Do you want to do some brochures? This isn't a exact science. I want you to think about what you actually want to do because we can play with the figures as we actually go. Your, your finances should be a, a, um, a, a liquid flowing type of thing every month so you can actually swap and change and, and move it so you know put in how much marketing you're doing you know let's say another thousand dollars there then our general expenses whatever they might be and if you find that there's not enough space in here just go and insert a row then copy down you know this information here and let me just copy down that and just paste in there and then just change everything in the yearly figure so have a look at your last profit and loss up until the end of June year to date and then have a look at the expenses that you've actually paid do you plan to put on you know any new things is your lease um, and your rent going to increase have a look at this year and see what's actually happening and then of course if you've got motor vehicles how much your motor vehicles are going to cost you and then I guess the biggest one is your um, your your wages and how much is your wages bill and don't forget you drawings from bank is you how much do you want to actually take home once you key in all of those figures for the year, let me make this a bit bigger. Um, how much profit do you want to keep into the business? So you might want to go and make 60 grand profit. And your cost of goods might be, let me just move across so you can see the full screen. Um, your cost of goods might be 45%. 
This will then tell you on a daily, weekly, fortnightly, monthly, and yearly basis on how much you need to bring in um, from a sales point of view. This will be exact for you to get 60 grand profit, pay off all your loans, pay your marketing, pay every sink, all your wages, including yourself. This business here, and it is only sample data, this business needs $763,000 in sales or $63,000 a month. So this gives us our sales targets. What we want to do now is once we've got this information, go put it into the budget manager in Xero, Myob, QuickBooks, or whatever accounting package you use. We want to now key those figures into the um, accounting package so we can easily manage your break-evens. Month by month, we can see it. But that'll be a discussion for another day. So guys, today is about making sure you check your break-evens. And I will be, especially for clients over the next month, we will be looking at what your break-even points are. We want to make sure that you've got um, the right break-evens for this year, we've got the right budgets. On your KPI reports, these are the figures we need to add. We need to actually put your cost of goods as this amount. We need to put your sales required as this amount. We need to put your marketing as that in your KPI reports on a month-by-month -month basis. So, you know, this, this one report does a whole heap of things. So, guys, that's all I wanted to discuss today on Monday Motivation, making sure that you do a clear on your budgets. Being the first week of July, um, here in Australia, we do the financials from a um, July to June period. So let's go have a look at that and go and have a smashing week. Any challenges, let me know. Happy to help out. All right, guys, that's Monday Motivation. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.